The aviation industry established simulators and certified training programs to improve pilot skills many years ago. Today, aviation is the safest means of transportation. Several studies have shown that the surgical complication rate is higher in groups of young ophthalmologists. Different medical and surgical specialities have already acquired experience with clinical simulators. But how can we achieve something like that in ophthalmology? The virtual eye simulator IC was developed for this purpose. It is comparable to a normal operation setup, including a FACO and microscope foot pedal with zoom and focus options. The most important part is the head with the artificial eye. There are two different head and eye models available with corresponding surgical instruments. One for the anterior and one for the posterior segment. The surgeon operates via a stereo microscope as in a real situation. After inserting the instrument into the artificial eye, movements are detected by optical tracking and transmitted to a computer that creates a virtual image which is then presented via the stereo microscope in a three-dimensional mode including visualization of the red fundus reflex. To start the program, every user must work with their own ID and password. The software starts with an overview of the device's functions. The different training levels provide individual explanations advising how to perform the task. A second person can follow the training using the live image mode. In the first course, instrument handling is trained. In this level, the red dots within the anterior chamber have to be touched. In the second task, a dot has to be moved without tremor. Grabbing for three-dimensional figures with a forceps can be difficult. Please note the movements within the arc. In the final example, bimanual instrument handling is trained. Afterwards, different steps of a cataract surgery can be performed. First, OVB injection. Capsular rexis. Please compare the real situation versus the virtual simulation. Hydrodissection, including rotation of the nucleus. Finally, phacoemulsification, including divide and conquer technique. And quadrant removal. The user can also be confronted with complications according to their performance. This is an example of corneal endothelial damage with consecutive edema. Here we can see manipulation of the iris with the phaco tip and the posterior capsule rupture during phaco emulsification. We analyzed the IC training in our department, looking especially at the performance of trained versus untrained users, individual training success, 
and performance repeatability. In this graph, different levels of capsulorexis training are shown. As you can see, the trained users showed higher values in all levels compared to the untrained users, similar to the course of cataract navigation. These findings can also be seen in the individual performance graphs indicating better results for already trained users. In summary, there are several advantages in using a virtual simulator for education. The training is easily accessible and time independent. The training is realistic even though no patients are involved. Complications without real damage. The pathologies are reproducible. The performance overview helps to analyze and record the training success. Personal surgical skill assessment is possible. We believe that virtual simulated training can improve the surgical skills of young ophthalmologists, thus increasing quality and safety for a happy patient.